It really is a perfect day for football here in Amsterdam at the Johan Cruyff Arena. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. I'm delighted to be able to bring you live coverage of this game from the Eredivisie. It's Ajax facing Herenveen. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And they need to get tighter. Can they forge ahead? Stopped a certain goal. This is how it looks for the home side. Well, it's a back four, a narrow midfield three and a very disconnected front three. But if the midfield players give good support to the central striker, this 4-3-3 system could work really well today. Has someone to play it to. And it might be. Always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, they're going to play with two wingers here, but I'm just a little bit worried that the centre forward could become isolated. Therefore, the midfield players need to get forward as much as possible in this 4-3-3 shape. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. Well, they were very patient, but they no longer have the ball. Kenneth Taylor. Bergwijn. An alert piece of defending. Well, you can tell what the fans think of that decision. They're certain it should have been a penalty. Olsen. Van Amersfoort. Likes to run with the ball at his feet. It's a perfect challenge. Oh, good vision. Well, the fans want to see a shot. Superbly read and executed. Kurlet. Pavel Bochniewicz. And snuffed out the danger immediately. Taylor. Here's Berghaus. A chance to whip it in. Very effective pass. Spot on with that tackle. And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. Well, quite simply, he hasn't been able to make his mark an attack in this game, Stuart. Well, as the touch map shows us, he hasn't been getting into the right areas to cause damage. He's such a good player around the box, but not today. He's been disappointing. 